Hi, this is Nick and I'm with Atlantic Laser Scanning Services. Today we're going to look at a problem that is happening with a uh, quite a few users of the S150 and S350 Ferro Focus scanners. Uh, they're running into an issue of the battery not charging. A lot of times the battery might only be a year and a half old, two years old, maybe a year old, uh, but they've stopped taking a charge. Now, if you've used previous Ferro Focus units uh, like the X330 or the 120s, uh, it's pretty much a done deal. Once that battery stops taking a charge, it's time to buy a new one. In this case, with the S150 and the S350 units, there is a hack that is uh, really, really a good tool to, to, to fix this problem. Now, according, this is October 2021. Uh, inside of these batteries, according to Faro, there is a microchip. That microchip uh, is being replaced. And uh, right now, the ones that have been used have a tendency they can lock. They'll lock the battery, thus allowing the battery to not charge. Now, while the new batteries are going to have the new microchip, the old ones that have this problem, uh, this is a perfect way to try to fix that. So it's going to begin with the firmware on your machine. We're looking to make sure that your firmware is at 6.8. If it's not, we're going to run through the firmware update process here. And once that's done, we'll show you then how to actually uh, charge that battery and switch on or unlock the, uh, the actual microchip inside of the battery that's bad. So let's take a quick look at what we got here. Here's our our um, S150, S350 battery, something that we've all seen. Uh, again, this is as of October, 2021. Step-by-step, step, how we're going to update our firmware. Now, first of all, you're gonna have to plug the scanner in uh, on a desktop, and because this process really does suck a lot of the battery and the, the scanner will actually tell you that it needs to be plugged in in order to go through the process. So we start by going to the main screen and we choose manage, which is going to bring us into this screen. From this screen, we're going to go to general settings. We're going to make sure doing this that we have access to the internet. So this is a process of connecting to the Wi-Fi in your office. We're choosing the WLAN option. And inside of this option, we see the network name, which is what we're going to choose now. This is going to open up all of the Wi-Fi networks that just like if you've got a phone, if you've hooked up a, a new router in your house, you're going to be choosing the appropriate router or the appropriate uh, internet. And then just simply go to the encryption key and then type in the uh, the password. Now at that point, your scanner should be connected to the internet. We're going to back out to the manage screen once again, and then jump into the service screen. Inside the service screen, you'll see the firmware update option, which is what we're going to put press next. Now, first, we need to make sure that the um, enable online updates option is on. And then if it is, we just simply choose the search for updates now. It will do everything from then on. This could take 20 or 30 minutes. So just ignore the machine. It's going to shut itself off. It's going to turn itself on. It's going to go through a whole bunch of processes. Could take 20 to 30 minutes and it's fine. You're going to hear a chime when it's finished and you will see the home screen again. Just like that, you hit OK and you'll be back at the home screen. Now, once this scanner is at the 6.8 firmware update or newer, then you're going to take the battery that is not charging. You're going to then install that battery into the S150 or S350 scanner. You're going to then just charge the battery inside of the scanner until it's fully charged. According to Faro, that should be it. 
this should unlock the uh, microchip and then allow that battery now to work properly and take a charge. If it doesn't, you're probably going to have to buy a new battery. But hopefully this will help you guys. You will avoid having to spend five or six hundred dollars on a new battery from Faro. And, uh, it, you know, if you have any questions on anything like this, uh, let us know if this helps with, uh, you know, how to go through the firmware update process, whatever we can do to help. Please let us know. And if you have any specific questions, we'd be glad to create a video and try to help you out. Our number here is 800-955-3960. You can get us at info at AtlanticLaserScanning.com. And our website is AtlanticLaserScanning.com. Thank you and have a great day.